how we doing? Everybody, Matt Modak here with OzJam, here to give you some early NBA bets to hammer for tomorrow, Saturday, April 22nd. So I'm recording this on Friday. Early line shopping, trying to find some value for tomorrow's NBA betting slate. And I have three picks for you guys that I found using OzJam that I really, really like. For tomorrow's NBA slate, we have Sixers Nets. Sixers up 3-0 in that series after an absurd game three in which they won. The um, Suns Clippers tomorrow at 3.30 Eastern, 1.30 my time. Obviously, the status of Kawhi Leonard is going to be a huge thing to look out for. Reports are saying that he's optimistic that he can play, but we will have to see. We have Heat Bucks with the Bucks taking a, well, I mean, they've tied the series 1-1, but just dominated the Heat in game two. And then the Grizzlies Lakers, uh, the Grizzlies also dominated, tied that series up 1-1 as well. Before I get into all of my picks, I would appreciate those of you watching. If you could like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment, let me know your thoughts, and then hit me up at my Twitter handle you see on the screen here below my video. But we can get right into it. So when I am looking at betting on the NBA slate, the first thing that I do is I look into each game line shop to see if there are any main lines that I like. So I did find two main lines that I like, one in the Suns Clippers, one in Grizzlies Lakers. For the Suns Clippers, I really like the Clippers plus five and a half. This is at minus 115 odds at BetMGM. Now I recommend putting one unit on this play. The reason why I like it, you see the clear outlier that the uh, BetMGM has this Clippers number at plus five and a half compared to every other sports book. We see literally every other book, literally every single one, price this at plus five. That half point, especially for a playoff game like this that has such tight lines, so much betting action, that half point is a pretty big deal over the long run. Another reason why I like it, we see the odds jam algo odds, which are pulled uh, weighted average from the sharpest sports books in the world, still favor the Clippers at plus five. So not only do they have it at a half point better, but they still think that the Clippers are more likely to cover that spread at a half point better. We see sharp sports books favor the Clippers at that number minus 115 versus minus 105. Same thing with Circa, minus 112 versus minus 107 favoring the Clippers. Now, I was shocked that Kawhi Leonard missed game three. I think personally that he'll play in game four, but honestly, we have no idea. What we did see was that the Clippers still hung tough Despite the crazy news that Kawhi was going to be out, they found out like right before the game. Now, both teams obviously have time to adjust. I just think that the Clippers, they're such a hard coach team. They play so hard. The Suns, yeah, probably win this game, but I don't think it's going to be easy at all. Yeah, Booker could go off for another 40 piece. Durant could go off for a 40 piece himself. But the Clippers have a lot of wing defenders, even without Kawhi. And then if he does play, well, then this just looks even better. So Clippers plus five and a half minus one 15 odds at bed MGM is play number one. That's a one unit play. Play number two, we're looking at the Grizzlies versus Lakers. And we are once again riding with the underdog because we found a really good play. We're looking at Grizzlies plus five and a half minus one 14 odds at playup. Now I understand that playup isn't available in a ton of states. So if you don't have playup, I still do like the Grizzlies at plus five at minus 109 odds. I would unit size that down a little bit. I don't like it quite as much as I do the five and a half. That half point, as I mentioned, is a big deal over the course of time. But regardless, we still see that the majority of sports books have this at four and a half, right? Pinnacle, sharpest sports book in the world, full point lower at four and a half. Then we see Circa Vegas, another sharp sports book, have this at plus five. So another reason why that extra half point at plus five and a half is a big deal. And then literally every other sharp sports book has this at four and a half, right? We see every single book have this at four and a half. Now the Grizzlies, they're not at home anymore. They obviously did tie the series up. We'll see whether Ja Morant plays or not. I just think that this is going to be a close game regardless. I feel the same way about this one than I do the Suns versus Clippers. The Grizzlies play tough defense. The Lakers sometimes can just get really, really difficult time scoring especially with Anthony Davis looking like the way he did. Um, they had a really good game in games one and two out of Rui Hachimura. Not necessarily something you can count on game over game. And Anthony Davis just sometimes looks like a total shell of himself and that he just shies away from contact. So we'll see. Maybe the best version of Anthony Davis shows up. Maybe Austin Reeves is him again for this game. But I think there are more paths for the Grizzlies to keep this close than anything else. So I do love getting the five and a half point spread. Minus 114 odds at playup. 
And then the last play that I locked in here is the Nets first half spread plus three. Strictly betting on the value of this one like I am for the other two plays as well. Nets first half spread plus three minus 115 odds. Uh, a couple of reasons why I like this. Number one, the other two sports books that price this spread, minus 133, minus 135. 20 cents higher than the Bet Rivers number. And then if you click view event page and you open it in a new tab, you see kind of the similar screens that you saw previously, right? The entire spread and where sports books are pricing it. Well, as we can see, most sports books price this at two or two and a half. So the plus three, we are getting some pretty good value. Now I understand for all three of these plays, we had to accept a little bit of extra juice, right? Minus 115, minus 114, minus 115. But at the end of the day, we're just betting on value. And we found a really valuable play on this one as well as the other two. Now, Honestly, this Nets Sixers series has been insane. The Sixers obviously up 3-0 are the better team, but they really haven't looked that good. Harden looked horrible in game two. Embiid looked horrible in game three. We really have no idea who on the Sixers is going to show up. Not that we can count on the Nets, but the Sixers look the way they looked in games two and three. The Nets are going to keep this one close. And the Nets honestly should have probably won the game yesterday. They were down a lot at halftime, came out on a huge run in the third quarter. Now, who knows, again, what Sixers team is going to show up. What I do know is that the value of this bet is really good. So that's what we are going with. So three plays for you guys to lock in. Three plays all hit for one unit. And that's it. So I appreciate everybody watching. Again, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up at my Twitter handle you see on the screen here. And have a good one.